Who got that? Come. Ah, she's good. Hello. Hello there. Um, I just came to ask if you would give me some healing, please. If? If you would give me some healing, please. Give it. Give something a meaning. Some. I didn't hear you. Anna. Sorry. Some healing. Some healing. Please. Gotcha. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I say this thing because many times the people, uh, it's become also, sometimes I went to one place, they tell, uh, they're having, uh, this, is, this room is for healing or something like this. And uh, one girl, she was coming to me, she was very young and she had been going to many healings. So I asked her, what, what, what's wrong with you? I don't think anything is wrong with you. And uh, she says, uh, I just like to go there. <laughs> so I said, okay, it's fine. If you like to do, you do it at like this. My thing is that nobody, mm, if there is a healing to be made, the healing will be to wake up. This is the greatest healing. To wake up from the sleep of thinking we are what we are not. And that would be the greatest healing, because with this healing, uh, the world is is uh, somehow uh, becomes awake, even in your own heart. Something takes place like that. That's the one I meant. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Then you have to know you are never sick what you are, there is something inside you which can never be sick. It cannot die. It is not subject to change. It is beyond fear. This is what I came here to share with you. Something will die, or you may call it recycled something. And some of our thoughts, the way that we think, who we think we are, this is continuously changeful. But there is something beyond all of that. Even the witnessing of it, when I call you to say, but all these things you talk about, mm, you are witnessing them. If somebody came and asked you, you know, who, whose is this car? You say, it's, it's mine. You don't say it's me. It's not what you are. It's something you possess. And you can also say, you know, my body. My body is getting old or something. Again, my body. It's like a possession, not what you are. My body, not me. My senses, you can speak about it. I say sometimes the eyes are getting weaker. Some people say to the doctor, my eyesight is really bad in this eye. So something is aware even of the weakening of eyesight even. It's not the eyesight. It is even watching the eyesight itself. Then it's sometimes the people say, you know, my breath is getting weaker also. So even the breath, you are not this breath. Then one person, he says, I had a conversation with this man and my ego was crushed. So even ego, you are not. Something is aware even of ego, even. Hmm? And then also memory. Some people say, my memory is not as good as it used to be. So something is observing memory also. My memory, not me, not what I am. You see? Also, my intellectual faculties was much more sharp before. So the intellect also, something observes even intellect. So it is beyond even intellect, it's not there. Then you say, my life is uh, taking a turn for the worse, or my life is like this, my life also. This life that we speak about, something is aware even of this life, it's not that. Of time, past, present, future. Also, you are not this thing. Something is aware of it. Hmm? What is time without you? So who is the witness of all of these things? Something right here must confirm. I am the one who perceives everything. Everything, every change, even some sensations, they are so subtle, there are no names for them. But still, they are perceived in consciousness. All these things, they came after you. Even knowledge 
came after you because you are the witness of knowledge you are the knower of knowledge and of ignorance you are the earliest of all not you personally even personality came after you you are there before even personality you say my name also you are not the name the name came also was given you are aware of the name you see so if all of these things were swept aside because something knows them something observes them all these things what is it that remains the one that says i i am the perceiver of all of this i am the perceiver of thoughts of emotion of time of actions of reactions of interactions of change of hope i am the one who perceives even belief even understanding even misunderstanding i am the one aware of it is not is it not true can't you say that don't you say it every day who are you who observes all these things can you yourself be observed we give a lot of energy to study many things which are only ephemeral transient temporary none of it is stable everything is coming and going we give so much loyalty so much attention to what is passing but that which observes the passing of things does that itself pass who are you in the light of this these words are you also passing that which is witnessing passing comings and goings is that coming and going what does it look like can you take a photograph of that one where is it now all your senses for whom do they for whom do they bring uh, sensations who is the taster of any experience these things a human being can know and it is good that you know because when you know this this world will become a much more quiet place more peaceful place and then you will know that one which is beyond healing who's beyond birth and death also while we have the chance to know that one which is undying unborn also where will you have to go to discover this truth hmm? do you have to step outside of yourself to discover this truth you see hmm? satsang is for this purpose it brings you completely into the real life the joy which doesn't change the peace which cannot be broken and this peace does not need healing one time i was visiting some place i think it was in ireland and in satsang one lady she says i want to sing a song Okay, go sing song. And she start to sing, "Oh, my heart is broken." I said, "Stop, stop, stop, stop." I don't like that song. The real heart cannot be broken. It cannot open or close. The real heart means the truth. The abode of truth. Yeah. Give up this type of lamenting. <laughs> when you can be so happy even searching for happiness is quite an unhappy thing hmm? who is that one who is aware of happiness or sadness also what is the state of this one inquire is he don't only live a life based upon assumptions if truth is what we wish to know there is not a lot of things 
that you need to be told. There's not a lot of experiences to gain. Right where you are, as you are, enough is with you. Huh? Only now, some urge must come. Some urge must come. This is the most important thing now. 